Hi, Hi Con. Wow, great unison. And Maurice, I gotta tell you, I've seen you all over TV with Laura, and you're gonna win People Magazine's Best Dressed Award. <laughs> <laughs> You've got some nice fashion taste. Uh, thank you, thank you. I, I owe that all to Laura. She she makes sure that I, I'm, I'm looking my best. <laughs> well, you do. Well, let's just talk about some of the TV shows both of you have been on. Laura, when you were on the Today Show together, what was that like? That was actually really, really exciting. It was really funny, though, to see how Kathy Lee couldn't stop crying. I was, even before the segment started, she was crying. I know. Did you guys talk beforehand? Or yeah. I mean, we... St we did, and actually what she didn't show on the show was that she actually threw her cards up in the air while we were on camera. I mean, she just <laughs> couldn't deal. It was the, Wow. It was, it was great. It was a touching, touching segment. It's it, on your webpage, The Invisible Thread, that I encourage everyone to watch that interview as well. But we're thrilled to have you live. Uh, Maurice, I know you have seven kids. Are you a celebrity with them now? No, I'm just still a father with them. They, you know... <laughs> It, it, I can't let uh, me being on TV and the book and things go to my head. I still have to be a father and I still have to be accountable to my family. So, unfortunately, no, they, they, they still look at me as their dad. So, take us back. You're 11 years old, Laura. You meet him in the street and you actually walked by him. What enabled you to have the power to walk back to him? Well, he said to me, excuse me, lady. He said, I'm hungry. Do you have any spare change? And as I walked past him, what resonated with me were the words, I'm hungry. And that's what really made me turn back. I'd never seen an 11-year-old child panhandling on his own. What do you remember most, Maurice, as you look back? I mean, this is a 26-year story about that moment. I, I heard on the Tay Show you called, it, you called her your angel. Yeah, yeah, she is an angel. But what I remember most was the one thing I've always wanted was haagen -Dazs. <laughs> designer ice cream. And that's what I called it at the time. I called it designer ice cream. Right after we went to McDonald's, we walked around Central Park and then we walked down 7th Avenue and we went to, um, there was a haagen -Dazs store there and we went there and that's what I could remember most about that's that then. But she still is an angel. <laughs> Laura, Laura, what did you see in his eyes that just spoke to you? I saw a twinkle. He still has the twinkle in his eyes. Uh, but I just looked at him and, you know, I could really tell that he was a good kid just stuck in a really hard world. You know, and people would say to me all the time, they were concerned about me. And I said, you know what? This is a really good kid and I'm going to follow my heart. And part of that heart was not only buying him lunch that day, but that relationship continued. My understanding is that you offered to buy groceries on Monday and prepare a brown paper bag lunch. Maurice, why was that so important to you? What happened was Laura, uh, one day I went to her house on a Saturday. I was really hungry. And she said to me, by that time we had known each other for a while. And she said, you know, I can't take you to lunch every day and I can't see you every day, but I'll either give you money so you can eat for the week or I can take you to the local grocery store and buy you groceries so you can eat every day. And you can swing by, by before you go to school and you can take it to school. And I said, if that's the case, will you put my lunch in a brown paper bag? And that confused her. And she said, do you want it in a brown paper bag? Don't you want it in a brown paper bag? <laughs> and I was like, well, Miss Laura, if you put my lunch in a brown paper bag, when kids come to school with, with lunch in a brown paper bag, that means someone cares about them. And from what she says, it touched her heart so that she put all my lunch in a brown paper bag. <laughs> Oh, Laura, you're a true angel, as he has described you. When you see Maurice now growing up with children, what, what does this moment mean to you? You know, when Maurice and I met t over 26 years ago, we never could have imagined that I would change his life and he would change my life, but it would have such an incredible ripple effect. You know, Maurice has seven children today, and they are as c cute as can be. And his children will never know from poverty, and they'll never know from hunger and drugs. And it's amazing how one simple gesture can make an enormous difference. 
And when you're doing it, you just never know how it's going to affect other people. Well, we certainly know it's what a beautiful family he has. I know you said it's personally affected you, Laura. Can you share that with us? Well, it affected me because I've never had children of my own, and I truly believe that, you know, my mother is an angel and she is in heaven, and I believe she really put Maurice in my path. She knew I needed more in my life and I wanted more in my life, and she knew this kid who was as cute as can be needed someone in his life, and she brought us together. And you know, now I have this incredible family. What a beautiful family you have indeed. Let me ask this in closing, given both of your inspirational story, your tremendous success, what advice would you give to others today facing a challenge? Well, the advice I would give to others is, you know, someone, if someone throws you a lifeline, you should grab hold to it and hold on and never let it go because that could be the only chance you'll ever get. And I, I'm so glad that Laura threw me a lifeline and now I have everything that anyone could ever want in life and that's pure love and the family love and that's all that really counts. Wow, well said. And Laura, last words? Well, thank you so much, Con, for having us on your show and we hope that they might be able to visit our website and invisiblethread.com and we're also really pleased that a portion of our proceeds are going to a really wonderful charity Share Our Strength No Kid Hungry whose goal is to end childhood hunger. Thank you. Thank you, Con. Well, thank you for writing the book. You guys are awesome. God bless and continued success. God bless you too. God bless you.